It's kind of a running joke with a lot of my OG community that I never talk about COD Mobile. I, I don't add COD Mobile to the ranking series. I haven't added COD Mobile to the COD History series on the main channel. And I'm not really sure why. But when I made this new channel, welcome to the new Chaos Call of Duty channel, everybody. Chaos here. This is the channel for daily news, leaks, rumors, updates, all that good stuff. I promised we would cover... COD Mobile. There's even a playlist for it, and there's not a single video in it yet until now. And it's actually going to be a video praising COD Mobile and kind of crapping on Modern Warfare 2 for not being uh, on the same level as a mobile game. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have those notifications on. Thank you for all the support on the channel. And I am talking about a feature in COD Mobile that we don't have in our $70 AAA title, which we absolutely should. So, there was a Reddit post, and you can see it on the screen here. And it says, It's sad that a free mobile COD game has this, but the premium $70 COD does not. And what's funny is somebody replied and said, No way, is this for real? Is there, This is like an in-game exclusive ace breakdown. And you can see it on the screen. If you play COD Mobile, you already know it has a full-on weapon comparison feature in multiplayer. You can put two class setups or two weapons next to each other, two loadouts, and you can see everything in comparison down to the actual damage multipliers on the limbs of your enemy. This is absolutely insane. I think exclusive ace breakdown. I think drifter in-depth breakdown and it's on COD Mobile for anybody to use. And it's a free feature for anybody to use. I mean, the gun's individual stats, the damage multipliers. It has a heat map of the limbs. I mean, the body. That's just absolutely insane, especially for data-driven players that really want to know what they're getting into when they do a loadout. And now you can take your two loadouts and you can compare them uh, right, off, right up to each other, which is absolutely amazing. But... When you shift over to Modern Warfare 2, which is a AAA title, a lot of money behind this, multiple studios behind it, we don't have anything like that. We don't even have a ranked mode yet, which we'll talk about in a video probably tomorrow. And another player said this is a slap in the face. Zero love for players. I got to give COD up for good, blah, blah, blah. Now, I don't, I don't really think it's a slap in the face and zero love for players. I don't think that's the case at all. But it does show... Uh, I guess maybe the uh, the uh, the I don't know the the strictures that the AAA game has versus the COD Mobile game. Now COD Mobile is not it's not ran or made or operated by Infinite Warfare, Treyarch, or anything like that. It's actually run uh, by a studio group called Teamy or Timei. I don't even know how to say their name, but they handle it and. I'm pretty sure they have a lot of extra creative, uh, I guess, control or uh, their boundaries are way, way farther out on what they can do. You've seen COD Mobile. They they go they go hard and they, they do a lot of insane stuff on that game. Uh, whereas I guess the vibe is you can't get away with all of that in the AAA PC console uh, title for the year. So my question to you is, and if you're any, if you know anything about programming or any of this UI interface and all these stats and everything, how hard would it be to put this weapon comparison uh, module in Modern Warfare 2? This is huge. This this would be uh, good for anybody because you can actually visually see uh, how it affects like the damage multipliers when you hit them in the head versus the chest versus the waist versus the limbs versus the legs. You can put two guns up next to each other, build them out and then see which one you want to go use. I mean, this thing had everything from sprint out speed to uh, <laughs> movement speed, sprint to fire time. It's crazy, and I'm sure it's probably more in-depth than what we're seeing uh, on the picture. Maybe if we have some footage, I'll have that up there as well. The point is, COD Mobile's got it right, and uh, we now have our first official COD Mobile video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you soon.